Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's back to school video, I have a makeup tutorial for you guys that's perfect for yearbook photos. And keep watching because I may or may not pull up my own yearbook picture to show you guys. When you're in school, like this is one of those days that everyone like stresses about and they're trying to look their best like, oh my gosh, it's picture day, especially like senior photos, like senior yearbook pictures, those are like a big, big deal. And back then I didn't know anything about makeup, so I would have loved to have like videos and tutorials like this that I can watch and follow along with to help me look my best for senior pictures. Of course, just like my back to school makeup tutorial I did, in no way am I saying that you need to wear all of these products and you need to pile on as many products as you possibly can, because that is definitely not the case. But if you are a makeup lover or you're just looking to enhance your natural beauty with a few products, Watch this tutorial and pick and choose what you like best throughout this tutorial and incorporate it into your own routine or give it a try for your yearbook pictures. I think it's always important to keep your look as natural as possible. Don't do anything super trendy or super dramatic like cut creases, dramatic smoky eyes. I would stick away from that for yearbook pictures because honestly it's going to look tacky like 10 years down the road when you look back at your pictures and you're like, ugh. Oh my gosh. If you keep your look timeless and classic, there's no way it can embarrass you later down the road. I mean, it's already bad enough looking back at old photos and seeing how we used to do our eyebrows. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and find it helpful. And before we jump into the video, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jack Jack. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so that way you are notified of future videos and you officially become part of the Little Flower family. And before we jump into it, if you haven't joined the Little Flower family Facebook group, definitely recommend you do if you're looking for friendship and encouragement and just like this powerful and beautiful little community online. So um, I'll have a link below for the Facebook group if you want to join. You don't have to. It's not necessary. But if you're looking for that friendship, that encouragement, and that connection, definitely join and be a part of the Little Flower Family Facebook group. And I think that's all I have to say. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I had to dig through some of my parents' like photo album boxes but I finally found it. My senior yearbook picture. Are you ready to see little baby Jack-Jack? Ta-da! <laughs> this is my senior yearbook picture. Little Jackie. Fun fact, my hair was actually the same length that I have my hair right now. I had a short haircut but I was wearing extensions. So obviously I'm not going to recreate my senior yearbook picture because honestly I was only wearing three things here in this picture. Mascara, powder, I remember which powder too. It was the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Powder. I wore that and then a little bit of lip gloss and that was all I wore. Um, and that was like a lot of makeup for me because I didn't wear makeup but you know senior pictures is something special and that's all I wore. So like I briefly mentioned in the intro, don't feel the need to use all of these products. Just pick and choose what you like or what you want to try out and see if it works for you. So the first thing we are going to start with is priming our face. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Primer Riser. Primer Riser. It's a primer and moisturizer in one. This is great if you have dry skin because it's nice and hydrating. And also, it's still technically summertime and it's really hot, especially if you live in California. It's really hot still. So, this is just going to feel so nice on the skin. And this is also going to help you from looking like really cakey and blotchy. This is just going to make the foundation glide on and apply a lot smoother. We do not want blotches, especially for our senior yearbook picture. For foundation, I have decided to go with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I have two shades here because I'm kind of in between shades right now. Um, I'm getting a little bit of a tan, but I'm still pretty pale. So I have my lighter one and then my darker one, and I'm just going to mix them on my little palette here to create the perfect shade. And I do have a um, blending sponge here, but I forgot to go and wet it. So I'm just going to use my setting spray, spritz this little guy, and that should be good. Fun fact, if you're too lazy to go wet your sponge, you can definitely use your makeup setting spray because it works the same. So here we go. So you just want to take that on your sponge and blend that evenly all over the face to even out your skin tone, get rid of any discoloration. And you don't want to apply too much because you don't want to like pile on the makeup and add tons of layers because it's just going to feel uncomfortable during your picture day but also just not look as natural and 
pretty in the pictures. So just try to keep it to one thin layer of foundation all over your skin. And if you haven't tried this e.l.f. blending sponge, you guys, you need to. It is amazing. It is so good. I actually think I like this way better than the Beauty Blender brand. And this is so much cheaper than Beauty Blender. Now for concealer, I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. One of my faves. So we're just going to use some of this to apply right under the eyes to just brighten up the eye area. And then I just always go down the center of my face. It's just a habit at this point. With the same sponge, I'm just going to blend that out. Again, just like the foundation, you just want a nice thin layer. You don't want to add too much. So our under eye area just has that like really natural bright eye effect. And now before that creases, you want to be sure to set it with a powder. So I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. This is in the color medium. They have translucent, medium, and then deep. So I'm using the medium one today. I hope this matches. I've actually never used this before. Wish me luck. Oh, that's a little dark to be honest. Whoops. It's a little too dark for me. Let me get my translucent one, BRB. Okay, I'm back with the translucent powder. So you wanna be sure to set the under eye area so it doesn't crease up. And then if you tend to get oily around like your T-zone area or any other spots on your face, be sure to set it with the powder as well. I don't wanna go too heavy on the bronzer, so I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Bronze Dynasty. This is limited edition. I believe this came out with the Fire and Eyes. Oh yeah, it did. It has the little dragon imprinted on here. This came out with the Fire and Ice collection from Wet n Wild, so you can check that out. But I'm just gonna take that on this um, bronzing brush from Wet n Wild and just gently add a little bit to the hollows of my cheek. Gotta get that double chin. And then I'm just gonna pinch the brush and go down the sides of my nose. With the same brush, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. palette and I'm going to mix these two colors right here and then apply that to the apples of my cheek and blend back, keeping it really soft and natural. I really like this brush. It's just so soft and like very fluffy, so it's applying like a very light wash of the product onto my skin, which is what we want for this look because yes, we want to like look our best for our senior pictures, but we're not trying to change who we are with makeup. We just want to enhance our natural features. Now for highlight, I'm going to take some liquid highlights because I absolutely love these. These are from Cats. These are the Aura Glow Liquid Highlighters. I have Moonlight here and Crystal Sands. I'm going to take my little mixing palette again and mix these two colors together onto the palette. And I'm going to mix it together with the tip of my little blending sponge here. Kind of press it on to the palette so we don't have too much product on the sponge and gently tap that onto the high points of my cheekbones and bringing it up towards my brow bone area. Kind of creating this like rounded like half circle or C shape. And then of course, going down the center of the nose, Cupid's bow. I just find that liquid highlighters give such a more natural effect and finish to the skin. That's why I decided to go with that for today's look. And I really, really do like how it's looking. So now our face is done, so we can work on the eye area. Starting with the brows, I'm going to take the Mellow Brow Powder Duo in Mocha. This is nice because it has, ouch, it has two different shades here, so you can use the darker powder shade to focus on the outer half of your brow, and then right on the inner part of your brow, you can use the lighter shade. And I decided to go with a brow powder because I just feel like it's a lot easier to work with, and it's so much faster and more natural looking. You have like just this more natural finish to it, so, and I think that's really important with your senior yearbook pictures because again, you just wanna enhance your natural features. You're not trying to change and sculpt the face that you have. And I just like to go in with a spoolie to make sure I blend that out so it's nice and natural looking because I feel like if our brows are too harsh, it can really take away from the other features on our face. So that's why I'm taking the powder and just gently filling in my brows, focusing on like these sparse or like empty areas of my brow, and then just kind of shaping them to define the brows a little bit more, but of course using the spoolie to brush everything out to soften it. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna keep it super natural, the theme of this whole entire look, 
But the palette I'm going to use is from The Bomb. This is the Nude Dude Eyeshadow Palette Volume 2. This palette has really, really pretty, like, neutral shades, and there's, like, a mix of matte and shimmer shades. But I'm going to focus with the colors, like, over here on this side. I'm not going to make this, like, a smoky look or anything like that. We're just going to focus over here. So let's work lightest to darkest with the eyeshadow colors. So I'm going to take the shade Fabulous, which is this lightest shade over here. I'm going to take that on a shader brush and highlight my brow bone. I'm also going to take that and highlight the inner corner of the eye. And for the lid, I'm going to take this really pale nude shade right here called Fearless. I'm going to take that on the same brush and just pat that onto my eyelid. And that just adds a little bit of brightness to our eyelid area. Now with a fluffy brush, I'm going to take the shade right next to it, which is this soft matte brown shade called Flawless. I'm going to pick that up and then blend it into the crease. And if you feel like you want to intensify the crease color more, just keep going back in to build on that color. I'm just going back and forth like this, literally like a windshield wiper. Just going back and forth like so, right in the crease. And I'm using, like I'm following the natural socket of my eye crease so if you take your brush and like kind of push it in you can feel where your eye like where it kind of dips in that's where I am blending this color so this brown that we're using in the crease it is a little more on the cool tone um, ashy side but if that's not like your cup of tea you can take a more warm tone brown um, like a taupey brown like this color here called feisty and use that to blend in the crease just to warm it up a little bit and this just all is like personal preference and how it looks against your skin tone the cool tone browns look pretty ashy on my skin tone so that's why I like to warm it up just a little bit now with a smaller brush I'm gonna take the shade firm right here which is a little slightly deeper brown and I'm going to focus this right here on the outer corner of the eye so I'm focusing this just right on the outer crease like this and just going back and forth to make sure it's nice and blended and again just like before if you feel like you need to warm that up just a little bit you can take the shade funny which is over here and it's a dark brown like dark burgundy brown so it has like the warmer tones to it I'm taking a very very tiny bit of that and putting it just on the outer part of my eye like this. And I would go back in with your fluffy blending brush and go right over that just to soften everything and make sure everything is blended nicely. So now I'm moving into eyeliner. I have a white one and a black one. So starting with the white eyeliner, this is from Collab. This is the Killer Cole Self Sharpening Eye Pencil in Slay. I'm going to use this on the waterline of my eye and this is just going to make the eyes appear bigger and brighter and more awake. Now with the darker eyeliner, this is also from Collab, the Killer Cole Self Sharpening Eye Pencil in Vixen. This is a black color and I'm going to, whoops, I just dropped the cap. I'm going to tight line my eyelid and this is going to be kind of hard with one hand but you want to gently lift your eyelid and the space right there between your lashes and that's where you want to draw on with this eye pencil. If you open your eyes like pretty big and look down you can kind of get it that way and this just helps to define the eyes a lot better and also give the appearance of like a thicker um, lash base like base of your lashes so I'm just going to gently draw this on and smudge it into my lashes and you can even go right on top of your lash line and just gently smudge some onto the outer corner of the eye like so see how this eye just looks a lot more defined than this one but it's nothing dramatic it's like those subtle small details so now we can go ahead and curl the lashes and apply some mascara if you want to skip out on the false lashes you can totally do so but I highly recommend curling your lashes because it's going to emphasize your lashes a lot more so that way when you do apply mascara it just looks a lot better and having your eyelashes curled open also just gives your eyes a more bright eyed and open effect. For mascara I'm going to use the Lash Warrior Mascara from Flower Beauty and I've actually really really been liking this mascara a lot. I feel like that's how it goes most of the time with mascaras. Like I'll, I'll like a mascara but I'll really like fall in love with it 
once the formula starts to dry a little bit. That's just, it always works best for my lashes, like the more drier uh, formulas. Not that this is like a dry mascara, but it's become like a little tackier now, so it grabs onto my lashes so much better. And before I finish up with the lips, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This is great to just help all the makeup we applied melt into our skin a lot better and again just look a lot more natural and refreshed and keep it lasting all day so if there's like a long line to wait before you take your yearbook picture you know your makeup is gonna last. Whenever I feel like my skin is just looking a little dull, I feel like setting spray always just kind of wakes it right back up. And finally for the lips, I'm actually going to mix two liquid lipsticks together. These are from Mellow Cosmetics. These are the Mellow Matte Liquid Lip Paint. I have Milan and Ibiza on here. Ibiza, did I say that right? One is more of a rosy nude and the other is more of a pale nude. So I'm going to start with the more rosy color first and apply that onto my lips. I think you can definitely get away with just going with a nice pinky gloss and that would look really really great for yearbook pictures but I wanted to do a liquid lipstick because typically when I use liquid lipsticks they make my lips a little more plump and they look a little bit bigger and I have really tiny lips so that's why I decided to go this route. And now I'm going right on top with the lighter more pale nude color. So that completes this makeup look. I'm gonna quickly do my hair and then I'll see you guys for the outro. So here is the finished look. I did go ahead and add some fake lashes off camera. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies for anyone interested. Again, you don't have to go with the false lashes, but um, I thought it just added a nice little oomph to this look. And they're kind of on the natural side. They're not like too crazy of a lash. So um, this, is, this is the finished look. Uh, I feel like the lighting looks weird. Do I look orange? I mean, I know my hair is orange, but I feel like my skin looks orange all of a sudden. Let me play with the settings. I just realized I did not set the white balance when I began filming, so if the lighting and the color of this video changes throughout the video, I do apologize. Um, hopefully you still get the gist of this makeup look, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like this, again, is obviously a great look to wear for your yearbook pictures because it's like... It's simple, it's timeless and classic, it's nothing too trendy or over the top. You never want to do anything trendy because it's just going to look tacky years down when you look back at these photos. So you want to keep it as natural and timeless and classic as possible. So I feel like this is like... I feel like this is a good safe route to go with. Some things to keep in mind is to be careful with the translucent powders that you go with because some may give you flashback with photography and also stay away from products that have SPF. So if your primer or your foundation or even your powder that you use, if it has SPF, when the camera flashes, it's gonna give a flashback and it's not gonna look as good. So definitely stay away from those when you're picking out products to wear for your pictures. And for hair, I always think it looks best when you have your hair down. Um, straight hair or curly hair is totally fine, but I feel like your hair down always looks best in photos. When you have your hair tied up, it's just it's not as cute and flattering in my opinion. And trust me, this is based off of experience because I've taken school pictures where I have my hair like tied up super cute. And back then, like that's how I loved to wear my hair. Like it was tied up all cute, but it just it wasn't cute in the pictures. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to check out the description box for all the products mentioned in today's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!